now approaching the uh, minus one we know that it, we're drifting up because the sh shuttle uh, uh, the station is roughly here and it's drifting slowly down so that means we're drifting to the plus x towards the nose so in order to stop this motion we need to uh, apply some minus we need to apply some plus x thrust to uh, slow down our uh, plus x translation so let's just let it run it is running and we're just going to pull up I'm thrusting up right now applying plus X now wait I ah, see yeah. got it all wrong because the station drifting down that means we're going up so we need to thrust down to slow our uh, our rate yeah, it's a bit tricky I always get confused so let's do some plus X which is down see I'm thrusting down it's plus X and uh, let's see how it works I'm still drifting in pretty slowly okay let's apply a bit more of minus X it helps us a bit to look at the uh, LOS display and time skip again very very slowly very very gentle we don't need to overshoot or change anything dramatic again let's do one two three seconds that should be enough let's see what the what it has done it's pretty much constant now the azimuth is going in okay uh, that means that we're still drifting up because the station is going down so let's give it another three seconds it's one two three and see what it, what happens with it the azimuth has changed and we know we're drifting towards the minus so let's uh, thrust to the left uh, let's say it's a very slow drift so let's say two seconds it's one two now as we grow closer and closer the uh, the amount of thrust we need to do to control the rate of the change will decrease so right now because we're on 37 some, 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 something thousand feet I'm allowing myself to do two seconds thrust as we grow closer you'll see that the minimum thrust is too much and we'll switch into pulse mode okay uh, the two seconds was too much on the azimuth so let's do one two to the right and when it's center we'll do one to the left and this is still uh, growing up so let's do another three seconds uh, minus X it's one two three and that's it time skip again this is centered let's do one second to the left and let's keep on going in let's check our rate make sure we're still on the three seconds and we are go back in now we know that the target is moving up in the window because we went from minus to zero so we need to thrust up the plus x to stop it again so let's do two seconds see what happens Two seconds plus X. It's one, two. And we wait. Great, good. Elevation, good. Let's turn on the camera because it's daylight. We should see the the ISS again. I think it's too small and the cross is hiding it. Let's keep on going. Now as, as you can see this task is time consuming. It's not something uh, that can be done in 3.5 seconds and finish the mission. It takes time, it takes practice. But the trick is to keep it centered as much as you can and don't let it drift too much. So if we got plus one, we'll stop. And let's say two seconds plus X. One, two, that's it. And see what, the, what change it has done. 
and I remind you as we grow uh, go closer and closer right now we're on 30,000 feet as we go closer still one second minus uh, X let's see if it keeps it there so one now as we go closer and closer the thrust we need to apply to make a bigger change uh, in the rate is smaller so just pay attention to what what you're doing because if we are 10,000 feet ago you need to do a three second burn now you need to maybe less so just keep that in mind and here's a good example now we'll thrust one second up and one second left I think it's one and we'll just make a pulse to the left two pulses I'm not in pulse mode I'm just uh, doing two quick presses on the button and let's make two presses down uh, to the minus X it's one two See, just one of those and let it go and we'll make one pulse to the right and keep on going the clicks you're hearing are my uh, time skip button on the joystick it's a toggle switch so it has a spring and it goes ding when it releases so if you're using the keyboard you probably won't hear that sound it's not from the game we're pretty much centered correctly and we're closing in in a good rate now uh, we'll just keep on going let's see we're in the night side we'll probably be on visual range about crossing into daylight which means that we'll arrive at the station roughly here so we'll, it's something we'll need to consider towards going into the RPM maneuver see how it drifts now let's do one second minus x we're pretty close so a short burst will uh, give us a good position so one let's see yeah see fix the drift now we'll stop it with two uh, short bursts up up means plus x of course because it's one two and let's see well, how it works all those changes by the way are so minor that you won't see them on the uh, on the uh, rate needles there are they are so so slow that uh, you won't see them period so time skipping it's it's pretty much uh, the way to pick it up if you're doing it correctly of course if you do large changes you will see it and as we go closer because this is rate you'll see those changes uh, very dramatically okay let's pulse twice up and once to the right see how it goes rate is still good again I'm not thrusting never thrust in time skip I'll might show you what happens when you do that I don't think so <laughs> because then I'll pretty much have to work three times as hard just to get back to where we were so you can do this test by yourself figure out uh, whether you like it or not let's do another pulse to the right and another pulse up Fourteen thousand feet. Here's the station. You can now see it in the cross. You see one of the solar array here, and it fits our azimuth, which is a bit to the right and a bit up. See those two. So let's just pulse to the plus X up, and another two to the right let's make it three up and two right let's see what happens as you can see we're drifting in which is good now let's stop the azimuth changes by two pulses to the left I'll stop with one and slow down our uh, plus X movement by applying minus Z in a second let's do one two pulses 
and keep on going. Now the station isn't symmetrical because you have two arrays here and one here because uh, those were installed only on STS 119 which hasn't been played here. This is the STS 124 I remind you. But the cross should be on the uh, center building of the station. I don't know if it will be on the PMA or on the uh, Destiny or something but it will be on the uh, station body itself.